hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this looping motion graphic animation inside of adobe after effect so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in adobe after effects first thing we will do we will create our main animation as always and we will call this as main animation also width is 1920 height is 180 frame rate is 30 and duration i'm gonna choose 10 seconds only and background color i'm gonna choose white color and simply hit ok then go to choose grid and guide option and hit title safe action so we can create this kind of grid now first thing we will do we need to add our ellipse so i'm gonna choose my ellipse i don't want any stroke for especially this one so i'm gonna delete the stroke and the fill color i'm gonna choose black color and hit ok and by holding shift i'm going to create one ellipse select this ellipse press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically like that select this hit enter and let's call this as circle and hit ok press s so we can see our scale scale is 100 now we are not gonna change this circle uh, so we will lock this but before that we will hit ctrl d and bring this circle down and we will lock this circle over here now i'll hit enter and i'll call it as stroke because for this layer i want only stroke so i'm gonna delete the stroke from here i mean fill from here and i am gonna choose stroke and stroke with let's say 50 press s for scaling option and scale it like that increase the stroke size to let's say 70 maybe or let's say 80 and for the scale i'm gonna type 350 yep this looks good to me now hit ctrl d again and we will move this down and we will hide this one for now select the stroke and create one keyframe on the scale and make sure the uh, size of the scale is 350 and go to around let's say around four second maybe and let's increase the size or all you can do you can type 350 plus 350 yeah this looks good so we will get this kind of animation over here if you want to reduce the size you can but we will now animate our strokes to two so i'm gonna unhide this and i'm gonna hide this one so press s create one keyframe over here go to the four second and again create another keyframe which is 350 and in the start i'm gonna make it zero and now if i unhide this i'll go to the four second and i'll hit n because we want composition from here only so if you see now this is in the form of loop I think we need to move this little bit over here so as you can see the initial size of this one is 350 and final size of this one is also 350 yeah stroke 2 so we will get this kind of loopy animation over here now we have to add certain things but before that I'm gonna select this one over from here I'm gonna change the color to pink now i'll hit ctrl d and bring those things at the top and we will change the color to yellow because we now have to animate the strokes of this one so over here i'm gonna choose white color and for the stroke size let's say 50 or 30 select this stroke 4 go inside the stroke 4 and in add menu i'm gonna add trim path go to the trim path and let's make it 60 and now go to the ellipse one go to the stroke and over here we will get this option called butt cap but we have to choose round cap now in trim path we have this all uh, what we call this option called let's say offset create one keyframe over here and around four second hit u over here let's make it two so if you see now we will get this type of rotation over here instead of two rotation i'll type only one rotation i'll hit n if you see now we will get this kind of animation now again i'm gonna select this stroke 
3 which uh, is a duplicate of this one go over here so we can see that now for this one also i'm gonna choose white color and for this one as i said we have choose 30 so we need to choose 30 stroke width for this one also and simply go inside the stroke 4 over here you will get the stream part select the stream part one hit ctrl c to copy go this start frame i mean zero frame select the stroke 3 and simply press ctrl v so we will have that stroke thing over here also and we need to go inside the ellipse stroke and choose round cap so if you see now we will get this kind of looping animation of this one so our uh, work is almost done now we have to do certain things only so press ctrl y on keyboard to co create a bg i'll call it as bg and background color is white only hit ok and move this over here and lock this here now select this circle right click go to the la uh, layer styles and choose bevel emboss go to the layer styles and bevel and emboss increase the size and also increase the softness now i'm gonna select this layer style hit ctrl c to copy select this one or let's say this one and hit ctrl v hit ctrl v hit ctrl v and hit ctrl v so if you see now we will get this kind of bevel or bulgy effect over here and if you want to add you can add drop shadow also i'm gonna choose full resolution so we can see i'll select this circle first i'll go to the effect and presets panel and i'll apply drop shadow effect on it i'm gonna increase the distance to 20 softness to 100 and opacity to 20 or let's say 30 now select this drop shadow hit ctrl c select all the layers and hit ctrl v to apply this drop shadow which is not a big deal it's simple thing now i'm gonna choose quarter resolution so we can see our output a little bit faster now right click new and create one adjustment layer and now we will apply tint effect on it like that and simply swap these colors so as you can see with the help of that we can swap between these colors now i'm gonna hit swap press s for scaling option unlink this and let's make it 50 or even less than that like that it's around 30 maybe now i'll hit ctrl d again and now i'm gonna swap press s i'll select this adjustment layer hit enter and i'll call this as animation like that let's increase the size of this one swap this uh, tent effect like that uh, second one is white and black and the animation is also white and black so don't get confused about it now increase the scale to let's say 70 create one keyframe over here go to around two seconds and let's make it minus 70 and at this four i'm gonna make it 70 again select those keyframes and hit f9 so if you see this animation we'll get something like this now select those keyframe go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift but before that uncheck this option and then select this uh, keyframe hit f9 again go to the graph editor hit control sorry select those keyframes select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here move this handle over here move this handle over here and this handle over here so if you see you will get this kind of animation now if you want to change a little bit uh, further or you can add one extra element simply right click new and create one null object hit enter and let's call this as add adg controller select both the adjustment layers and make it apparent with this adjustment controller select this adjustment controller layer press s unlink this and increase the size only this size to 150 select this adjustment layer press r for rotation create one keyframe over here and go to four second and let's make complete one rotation and if you see this thing now you will get this kind of animation so yep this is the technique 
to create a looping motion graphic animated background so that's it for the today's video we will see you in the next video So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates. Until then, stay tuned. Yeah.